welcome to a, another video out of the ordinary as you can see it is actually me playing for some random reason I started calling it Rocket, Rocket Soccer even though it actually is called Rocket, Le Rock, Rock, Rocket League I don't know what the hell I can't speak today but today I have officially found about actually not today about a week two weeks ago I found out for some random reason there is a bug or some sort of strange sound problem whereas in you actually can hear not hear sound if you play in Windows Media Player sorry I'm just playing my pen um, TV and film and basically I've tried it and I couldn't hear any sound but yet as soon as I checked the same video online on YouTube it had voice it had sound but of course when I had it in Vegas it had sound as well but as soon as it's rendered for some reason and it's played in any software outside of Vegas or YouTube or of course from not from YouTube it's got no sound which personally I have no clue why it's doing that but I don't really understand why it's doing that if you guys have experienced this problem leave a comment down below um, and I was just really really baffled because I know one of my mates he actually did go back to Windows 8.1 because he was having software problems but maybe it's because he's actually running a SLI system so of course he's running dual 780 Ti which is the quickest um, 780 Ti you can get whereas in me with just a single 780 Ti it seems to be running fine and I haven't actually run into any gameplay issues like bugs for issues and stuff like that running one running a single GPU but I think it's because of course Windows 10 is still fairly new because of course guys it's just over a month old so in the sense of development and operating systems and software as a general ticket it is really new so of course you're gonna have a lot of bugs that they've never found before I don't know why they don't actually find them but I think the problem is because of what everyone else does on computers everyone uses a computer differently like I've got my dad all he'll do is watch like YouTube surf the web do word processing Excel basically every general every day to day PC user that does and they won't find anything wrong really with Windows 10 because they they don't actually use it in the same aspect as say I do or yeah basically me me or like developers or something like that they're always going to find like defects bugs you name it because of course it's a new system and not everyone actually understands how yet to work with it and like why is this doing this they don't actually fully understand why it's doing what it is but overall I think that's the thing with if you stick with it you'll be fine but for the time being I don't know what I'm gonna do because hopefully once I've updated it should fix it but of course if it doesn't because to this very day it's still doing it. Um, I reckon it should do it, but for some bloody reason I don't. I'm, it's just one of them things that I keep saying. I think because it's brand new, it's a new. Then it's only been out about two or three months now. About two, two and a bit months, yeah. Um, and personally, I don't think they've ironed all that all the bugs out yet because as I said it seemed like they actually did push it back initially because of the amount of bugs but the problem is now they've actually still released it before it should have come out which 
it's quite annoying, but as I said in previous videos, like with early access games, it's the same. They're just rushing out. They've got a small window, even though they, I think they'd actually been working on Windows 10 for about maybe a year, two years, something stupid, and they're still releasing it with bugs. But maybe that's probably because oh, you know, how the hell I miss that? They just want to get something out that's better than Windows 8 even though personally I start I grew to love Windows 8 but the massive thing I love about Windows 10 now is that it seems to load up a lot quicker than it used to when I had Windows 8.1 even though I did have a password protected system but the thing is at the end of the day I, I I just, I'm the only user on this PC, so I don't see why I need one. I understand, of course, some people are really, like, security conscious. But at the end of the day, I don't see the point, because it knocks off about... I know I'm being a bit picky, but it knocks off, like, 10 seconds, 15 seconds from booting it up to booting it up, going through posts and everything like that, loading into Windows 10, and then putting the password in then loading it up for about another five seconds whereas in now it's literally just loads up the game and that's it how the hell did I not chuck to that which personally I think Windows 10 is better it's just gonna be be and get better once pe developers actually know how to work with Windows 10 once it's been out a couple of months or a year because at the moment they a lot of the developers and this of course is ranging from sound software developers graph nvidia all them sort of developers not game developers i'm actually more on about the hardware slash software companies that for every regular user they've still got to get to grips with windows 10 yeah i understand they've had the developer and the preview versions but it's completely different the preview versions are to the actually fully released version because of course this is a full version whereas in the previews it was easier for them to um, update they could update it every week or something whereas in with the full version they don't really want to be doing updates on it every week even though so far I've had quite a lot of updates but hopefully we will get to the end of it. There will be necessarily it wouldn't. I don't think it will ever be bug free. It will probably have less bugs in it, but a lot more software and hardware will run smoother and actually fully work. Because that's the only thing I've run into is about my sound system. Whereas in it, for some reason, as I've already explained, it don't work when it's rendered, but when it's in Sony Vegas or YouTube, it has sound. But anyway guys, we're coming to near to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, as sure I have. Thanks for watching. Bye for now guys.